How long do you think it's going to take me to make this thing, Ben? I think it looks like we're going to be camping out in the studio tonight. Ha! Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we're checking out a build your own robot kit and excuse my German here, but by the guys at Robo Wunderkind. I got it right? You did. Ah, das ist Wunderkind. What does that mean? Wonder child. Which is something I'm definitely, definitely not. This is a simple, straightforward build your own robot kit, which is designed to teach your kids coding, robotics, um, Oh, that's it. I feel very, very much underqualified to be touching anything related to robotics because I have pretty much no prior experience with robotics. And when it comes to coding, the best thing I can do is make text in bold in HTML. Thank you, MySpace. Servo motors, DC motors, you've got distance sensors, wheels, button, and RGB LED. You've got a few little bits to play with in here. So I think you can possibly make some quite interesting little robots with this thing. So let's get into the box and hope that I can actually make something which even slightly resembles an actual robot. Educate. Maybe we'll actually learn something today. You've got a nice and neatly designed little pamphlet here which shows you each individual component and what exactly it does. And underneath the foam padding you've got all your individual bits and they are really nicely laid out there. So this is everything out of the box and it doesn't really look like that much stuff but I think you'd be surprised how many things that you can make with so few components. So to get this thing started we're going to need two apps. The Robo Live app and the Robo Code app. We're going to start with the Robo Code app and it's a super basic app which has simple instructions on how to to make very simple robots. But then you can also do custom codes for your robot so you can get it to do a few different things. So as you can see, there are three basic designs on here. You've got a light roller, the driver, and a flashlight. Three pretty different and simple designs to start off with. You can then go into the coding lab and that is where you're gonna be able to do your custom coding. So you can add sound effects, you can do movements. First things first, to get this going, we're gonna take the main block, which is the big bright orange one here. And we're just gonna turn it on with the switch on the back. Hey, and then as soon as it turns on the Bluetooth kicks in, you can connect it up to your phone right here. And then from there, you can start building your robot. So we're gonna start off super basic. Let's make a flashlight. So on the app, it shows you which components you need. And with the slider, it shows you how to plug in those components. And then you've also got a 3D model right there. So you can look at all the different sides. So we're gonna put the LED light on the front there. And as you plug it in, it should make a sound to confirm that you've plugged it in properly. And then on the app, it shows a little tick next to the part you just plugged in, just to confirm that it's all plugged in and recognized. So as you can see, if I plug in the button right here, tick, all done, all sorted. Then the little I'm ready button on the right hand side of the screen will light up and it's now ready to add the code to the block so you can start using it as a flashlight. And while you're on a coding panel, you can make minor adjustments like changing the color of the light so we can make it a bright green. You can also adjust the brightness as well. So we'll have that on max. Now you can even adjust the off function there. So if you didn't want it to be an off function, you can make it so it just changes color. So you can change it to purple, but let's just use it as a normal torch for now. And then once you've gotten that all set up, you can hit the play button and that'll get everything going. So now if we just press the big red button on the top there, and there you go one green light. Now let's try and make something with a little bit of movement. So we're going to try building the driver robot, which is listed on the app. And there's a few more components within it, but still looks pretty simple. I think I can handle this. How long do you think it's going to take me to make this thing, Ben? I think it looks like we're going to be camping out in the studio tonight. Ha! Done! <laughs> and now that's all put together once again we go to the app and hit I'm ready and all the code is already there ready to go so just hit play and oh god oh god he's going for the edge oh, don't, don't, don't. Why does everything that we make live in this studio just try to run off the table straight away? Now, if you want to have a go at having full control on this thing, you're going to need the Robo Live app, which is different from the Robo Code app because it's literally just controlling the robot. And then from there, you've got a few different controls. You've got a joystick there, so you can do all your directions forwards and backwards there. Or you can control each motor individually. So you can go forwards on motor one, or you can go backwards on motor one, We're using both at the same time. So you can spin. I think I've got the motors on the wrong way around because if I hit forwards, he goes backwards. <laughs> Let's just say that uh, this is his front now. There you go. That, that's how he was meant to look. Totally how he's meant to look. So I've added the distance sensor to the front of the robot. So now I've made a super basic code, which makes he just makes him go forwards. And then as soon as he detects something, he turns around and goes forwards again. It's basically like catching a bug in your hands and to keep it in your hands, you keep putting your other hand in a way. So it turns around and goes in the other direction. Just me who does that. So if I hit play on that, he goes forwards, put your hand in a way, turn around, do a whole 180. Go forwards again. The poor dude. The poor, he just can't escape. Go on, try one more time. One more time. Go on, you can have it. Go on, you can go. Ah! And stop. 
his head. And then from there you can do loads and loads of little edits. You can add sound, you can do something with the LED lights, you can add other movements. There's so much you can do with this thing. And I don't know what it is about these starter robot kits, but they're just so adorable. Look at his little eyes. How can you not love that? I have made him into my pet by adding a barking sound effects every single time he moves around. So with some imagination and a little bit of intelligence, which is the bit that I'm lacking, you can actually make some pretty cool things with this guy. Obviously, this is a simple bit of kit. It can't do really advanced stuff, but it does do the basics when it comes to movement, sound, motion detection, and all that. And I agree with what it says on the box. It is a good introduction to coding and robotics. And I think if you gave this to a child, they could have a lot of fun and also learn a lot. The apps are easy to understand and get a hang of. The construction of the robot itself is also super super easy. The components fit snugly onto the main block, which can make them pretty tricky to get off, which is why they include this handy plastic crowbar, which just makes things a little bit easier, as you can see. Requires a little bit of elbow grease to get them off, but not too much. I kind of feel bad that I use this head as an example of how to take components off. Let's just put that back and act like that never happened. Much better. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like this video, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I've even got my own personal Twitter, which you can follow me on there. You can also support the channel on our Patreon page, and we've even got our own Discord server, so you can talk to us on there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.